Hello everybody. Uh, okay, then I'm uh, I'm in my workshop this morning and I'm going to make a start of the hand pump. I'm continuing making all the pieces now for me my steam loco. I've I've done most of fittings and I've done them in a so many part series. I, I just forget how many parts. If you want to t take a look look at back at them. So I've done my fittings in a series and I've done the actual boiler in a different series. And uh, I'm just doing a few individual parts now and uh, I'm moving on to this hand pump. So basically it tells you to fabricate this the body for this hand pump out of some either some bronze or brass. But I bought a box of bits when I first started this loco and lo and behold in that box of bits with castings for hand pump which are here. So I was prepared to make them out of just solid bronze but I've got the I've got the casting so I'm gonna use them. Uh, so basically the body is two parts. There's actually more parts to it than the two parts I'm I'm saying. It's not that simple but there's there's nipples to fit on end, there's a, a stop to put in top, a, a plug, and then you've got your linkages for your handle, etc, etc. But we'll just concentrate on this body part. So, it's a two-part body and it'll fit together on a, on a spigot here when I've machined it and be silver soldered together like that. So that's how it'll look, side on. And then coming out of this top little bit outlet to boiler and coming into bottom here a little bit inlet from water tank. So I'm just proposing now to set this up on lathe and, uh, and make a start at doing machining on it. Okay, I've, I've moved into my Marford lathe now. I've got the hand pump, the first part of the hand pump body set up and I've faced it up and uh, my next step was to centre drill it then I've pilot, pilot drilled it with about a quarter inch diameter drill then I've gone in with a 30, sorry a 15, 30 second drill that's leaving a 30 second on for reaming because uh, it's a half inch finish diameter but before I ream it which is important uh, especially if you if you're just beginning I mean all you uh, old hands at this will know that know all this but when you've put your your larger drill through ready for reaming you bet best off just taking a skim up the bore because inevitably more than likely your drill will wander and it won't be concentric all the way up the hole so you're best off taking a few thou off uh, with a boring bar so that you get that hole dead concentric and then leave. I'm leaving about 10 thou in just to finally ream it and once I've reamed that hole I've just got to skim this diameter up to run through so I can turn it round and then face it up to the required length. I've now machined the centre of the casting and this would apply if you're just using solid uh, phosphor bronze. I just so, like I said, I just so happen to have the castings. So I've machined centre and I've machined the uh, second part of the pump body and that's just got a half inch reamed hole straight through it and there's a spigot now machined on that which will fit onto the other part of the body there and that will be silver soldered in like that <coughs> so I've reset this second part of the pump body up in my three, well it so happens it, so happens it runs through in the three jaw I think I were a bit fortunate there because it's only a rough casting. Anyway, it's in my three jaw and I've machined this end. I've put a 5.30 second hole through to the centre. I've then put um, a 9.30 second 
slot mill to leave three eighths a three eighth step from the centre and then I'm tapping it five sixteenths by thirty two and nine thirty two is the tapping size for that and I've gone in I've gone in a quarter of an inch with a tap which will intersect with this hole when it's drilled through here so I've now finished that side I'm going to turn it round in the chuck and do a similar operation to the other end uh, drill it 532nd flat bottom machine it with a slot with my 932 slot mill to the depth required and then that again that'll want tapping but this side's tapped a little bit deeper OK, just a quick progress report. So that's the insert which I've shown you I've just parted off that fits, uh, well it will do when I've threaded it, that fits into the bottom. Then I've made a similar one with a shorter thread on that goes in the top. Like so. I've just got to put the threads on them yet. Yeah. And then in the lathe I'm making this top plug now to blank this off and to get me, uh, me clearance for me uh, 3 16 ball get the clearance to a 30 second and that's what I'm doing in the lathe at the moment which is there so this little piece on the front I've left a little bit on that so I can adjust to get the right clearance for the ball so, so the ball can have a, a 30 second of lift so I've left a little bit on that until I know my exact distance right so I've got the piston in the 3 jaw now I've, I've faced it to length and I've put the, uh, the o-ring groove in for a number 12 o-ring um, which is 60 thou deep or 62 thou deep and uh, 70 thou wide and the piston is half inch OD um, inch and three quarter long right I've, I've moved the, uh, the piston over to the milling machine now Set it up in the three jaw, chucking my dividing head. <clears throat> I've put an eighth, uh, an eighth slot mill, slot mill in the in the spindle, and I'm cutting the the groove in where the um, where the rod goes in for the pivot point and the pump handle. And it's a 1 8 slot and I believe it's 7 16 deep. So I'll just continue with that now and then uh, I've got to drill a cross hole in it for the, uh, for the rivet.